Hello, I'm Assembly Member Luz Rivas. I represent the 39th Assembly District, which is the East San Fernando Valley. Welcome to the DIY Star Wars themed light up Father's Day card activity. This year, I worked on computer science legislation to bring more computer science to kids all over California. Uh, because of COVID, I had to shelve this legislation, but I will continue working on computer science education and STEM education so that young people all across California will have access to that in their schools. Since I wasn't able to do that this year, I thought that this DIY activity would be a fun activity for kids to get started with basic electronics. I did things like this when I was in elementary school um, and it's a fun activity to start learning what it's like to be an engineer, but you don't have to be an engineer. You could also still do the STEM activity and give it to your father or father figure, or if your mom is, is your father. I grew up without a father, so I never knew who to give my Father's Day cards to, but I always found someone in my family or close friend from of the family that I can give it to. So don't worry, if you don't have a father, you could still make this activity. Okay, to get started, um, you're gonna need additional materials that you have around the house. So some tape, I use basic scotch tape. Scissors, something to write with, a pencil or pen, and then something that will poke holes. So either a, if you have a thumbtack or a safety pen, because we're gonna have to poke holes in the card stock. So this is the stuff that you need to gather to get started. These are the materials that are included in the kit. The card, a straw, an LED or light emitting diode, and a coin battery. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. First step, where this straw is gonna be the saber from the lightsaber. You wanna measure it from the, the tip of the handle. And I'm gonna cut it right below day, but you can do whatever you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine. Okay, so now I have a smaller piece of straw that will fit. Maybe I'll cut it a little bit more. But remember, you can design it however you want it. Okay, so next step, we need to poke two small holes there so that the LED will fit. The LED is this small like light that will light up our saber. So I'm gonna use a thumbtack. You could use a safety pin. Uh, make sure that you're, you have an adult to help poke two holes above the handle so that I can put the LED in. Okay, so let's go back to the LED. If you grab your LED, one of the legs is longer than the other. So notice that the longer leg is the positive side and the shorter leg is the negative side. So plus and minus the short. If you pick up your coin battery, so this is a coin battery. A lot of times they're used in small electronics this coin battery, if you, if you look for the side that has a plus sign. So your coin battery should have a plus sign. So your long leg of the LED goes there. And then the negative, the shorter leg, the minus goes on the other side of the LED. So see if you can get it to light up. So this is a good way to test to make sure that everything works. So my LED is working. Okay. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and put the LED through the holes that I poked. So if you notice, now they end up back here. Once that's in, I'm gonna put the straw over the LED. and then use just basic scotch tape to You could probably make this look better than mine, but this is how mine is turning out. So, 
that's the front part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. If you notice, the LED leads are now in the back of your card. We can see which one is longer, the positive plus and minus. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it so I know which side is which because I'm gonna to need to know that to connect the battery. So remember, look for the plus sign on the battery and that and then the negative if you need help ask someone to help you so now i can tape this down there's other ways to make switches if you have other materials or if you've done this in school um, you know you can use other materials to make a switch but this is a very basic activity just to get you introduced to basic electronics with everyday materials that you have at home. So now if I turn it around, my lightsaber is lit up and I'm ready to sign the card and give it to somebody.